from Tri-State. I'm not 100% sure, don't quote me on that, but I've seen his name around at our... We have a lot of different groups that organize fest, and I think I've seen his name around. So, he's, uh, he's an up-and-coming player. Uh, Falco vs. Peach is relatively even matchup at the highest level of play, but it's very much in Peach's favor if Falco is not as efficient as yeah. he should be with his technical skill. So let's see what Rula is able to pull out here. He's already That's, got some good damage. Yeah, he tried to get an off the top, uh, off the top of the stage skill kill there, right there. Nice show grab by Tico. Uh, Peach likes to employ crouch cancels against a lot of characters, but she kind of loses that option against Falco because Falco's main approach to is his down air, yeah. which is uncomfortable. Right there is one of the reasons down smash is so good against Falco because his recovery is really bad and he can't really hope to recover from it. I mean, even characters like Fox will have a hard time coming back from that. He has the best recovery in the game. Yeah, one of, if, if not the best, one of the best. Yeah. Rula doing some slightly sloppy combos, allowing Tico a chance to counterattack him. Uh, but he's keeping the pressure on, which is the most important part. Misses the punish on the down smash there, though. It's unfortunate. Tico trying to mount an offense now because of it. Great use of the forward tilt. That's an anti air there. The laser. Yeah, it's very hard to time, though, because it's got a little bit of a startup on it. Yep, definitely. Uh, goes for the turn up instead of trying to get the tech chase. And a nice anti air by Falco comes up with a nair. It's a surprisingly effective way to just uh, kill another character's aerial momentum. Yep, definitely. Normally you see a lot of back airs from Falco's, a lot of, you know, even down airs, just jump straight up and then down and put them into the ground. But I think what he wanted to do was just say, okay, I want Peach off the stage, I want her out in the air, I don't want her on the stage. Yep. One of Falco's main strengths is that his feet are actually disjointed from his body. And what that means is that you can't actually hurt Falco by hitting his feet. So yeah. when Falco uses his back air and his neutral air and his down air to control space, you actually have to be able to get past the attack to actually hurt Falco, which is why some characters have such a hard time dealing with his aerials. Yeah, and I believe on his up smash, um, his nose is invincible, just his yes. beak. <laughs> <laughs> and his feet it's are invincible during the start of his down smash yeah. as well. So Falco has a lot of invincibility and a lot of disjointedness, and yeah. that's kind of why uh, lower level players have such a hard time understanding why they're getting hit by Falco. It's because they think they're putting attacks in ranges that they can hit him, but his attacks are actually still out of range of him. Or and that works. That works to his advantage too, because they're like, nice okay, recovery. now I, I gotta get, I gotta get closer to Falco now, and Falco loves it when you're close to him. Yep, definitely. He's trying to get back on the stage. Yes, this top platform. Gets the nice shield grab. Oh, doesn't get the up throw. Up throw there probably could have sealed that stop for him. Yep. Took a little bit too long. Uh, Finally nice on jam man. damage with pummels. Rula didn't the eye that there, so unfortunately he wasn't able to recover. Nice neutral there. Oh, Peach got shot out of her float, so she had to be immediately. Rula with a nice edge guard. He's showing some uh, knowledge in the matchup, definitely. He's not uh, as inexperienced as a as you might think from a player. He's probably one of those underground good players that you don't really see at, at major tournaments. Yes. Nice nair to shine. Gets a nice 45%. It's not that easy to combo Peach. She's very floaty and can neutral air counterattack you very often out of your combos. So nice the read. fact that he's getting so much damage on his combos is really good. Oh, doesn't get a punish on his down smash. Tico's just trying to find a way in, trying to get around the lasers. He's gotten a lot of shield grabs this game, but he's not oh, been yes. able to capitalize with his tech chases. Nice tech chase. Oh, oh that air dodge. He touched the edge of the platform, and what that did was that completely canceled his hit stun. It's called edge canceling. And unfortunately, he tried to tech on the platform, not knowing he was going to edge cancel, and that caused him to air dodge and fall to his death. So that's an unfortunate death for Tico. Let's see where he takes him back. Um, Dreamland is a nice stage because you live a little longer, but. It gives Falco so much room to run around and shoot you. And yeah. it can be really frustrating for the Peach player. Like we were saying earlier, it's a notoriously good Falco stage. Uh, but they're going to Battlefield. Yep. Tigo decides to run it back. Wasn't happy with the way the match went. Thinks he could have did it a little better. And really using those platforms to great effect. Something we've seen from all our Fox players today. But uh, it's definitely not a skill that's a uh, stranger to Falco. Falco is very good at being able to run around on those Falcos and just remain uncatchable. It looks like Tycho is really just waiting for the pressure to hit, waiting for him to land near him, and then going for the down smash. 
Yep. Going, going for the move he knows is going to rack up a lot of damage or put him in a favorable position. Yep. It looks like he wants to do a down smash and shield grab. Oh, went for the Nair edge guard, but moved a little Ooh. bit too far forward. And then he got battlefielded. Oh, man. Unfortunately, Peach has a very hard time grabbing the very slim um, edge that is the battlefield edge. And she's notorious for going through it, both with her LB and just her regular falling animation. So unfortunately for Tico, another anticlimactic death after his last one in the last game. Great bait! Space jab to bait the down smash and then just forward smash them away. Oh, unfortunately, he gets clipped by the back of the umbrella, falls to his doom, doesn't react. He probably thought he was going to land on the stage. Doesn't react in time. He's just trying to get that shield grab in, Ooh, get the tech in. chase. Oh. Ooh. He's got Falco on the platform. Can't do anything with it though. Tico's reacting a little late to the text themselves. Yeah, he is. Um, He's if, giving... if he reacted a little quicker, he'd be getting a lot more percent right now. Yeah, great DI. Most players would have just held up and towards the stage there, but they, you act, that actually would have killed Tico off the top. He held mm. slightly towards the corner of the stage. And uh, it, was, it was what allowed him to keep this stock going this long. Yeah, oof. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to capitalize for the rest of the stock. And just like that, Rula's up a whole stock. All right, nice snare. He's going to finish it off. Trades, and Rula gets back on the stage. Yeah. Unfortunately for Peach, it's a... Uh, and it's one of, uh, I think... Armada's main original complaints about the NCSC version was that when the, the fires always trade with her as opposed to just getting hit. And he found it very difficult when he first came to the US to play because he would try to edge guard foxes and then it would trade and then he would uh, have to give up the edge guard because he got knocked too far up and then they would up be right away. Yeah, it is, it is a pretty precise uh, window to hit. I mean, he obviously uh, learned the timing for it, so... Uh, that's how he was our reigning Apex champion. But uh, let's see what Tico can do. He's not out of this game just yet. He's only down a little bit percent. He can get some pressure going on Rula. Yeah, this is this is still relatively even percent wise. Yeah, Falco is a is a very vulnerable character. Falco spawns at a percent where he can die. Like so, if all you need is one good read, one good up throw nair, one good down smash. And a uh, nice attempt to catch the downward angle. And speaking of reads, I feel like Tycho has a lot of the right ideas. He's just not executing them properly. Falco was actually dead there already. And uh, he hit him with the turn up, and that let him up B to the ledge. Tycho wasn't able to capitalize and keep him off. So Rula has another chance at this stock. And he's able to capitalize and take first blood on that stock. And that leaves Tycho on his last stock, potentially, of the set. Yeah, of the tournament. Oh, is this losers? Oh, yeah. Oh, Tico. Uh, wasn't able to crush him to that nair. Didn't see it coming. But does get the down smash anyway. Yeah, Just that's like gonna... that last stock for both players of this match. Nice crouch cancel. Yeah, not something you see that really, often. He's trying to play really patient, but he's still kind of approaching recklessly off the platforms and leaving himself open to shield grabs. I like to see a little bit more empty jumps off the platforms. Maybe just come down in place. You don't always have to jump at her. Just do like that. Perfect. Yep. And then she comes to you. Great play by Rula right there. Ah, uh, Tico sniffs out the grab and grabs him first. Ooh. Oh. Oh, he gets that neutral air. Can he capitalize off of it? Great short hand. Tico thought he was going to the top platform. Shot that late air out, but Rula just fell right behind him. Rula can get his bearings, he can, might be able to pull this game out. But Tico's not had off. Oh. That upbeat was really risky. He was already over the stage. Yeah. Unfortunate for Tico.